Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nut. So, Divine Masculine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So, if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards up right in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Divine Masculine. Get no fit notes. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your hand on the way. I'll hit that link. You'll be back in Terraland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you, ta. Divine Masculine. I don't even know how to explain this intuitive message because it just g gave me a feeling. You know, it's been a lot of irritation lately. And I feel like it's more so um, irritation because a lot of us have um, moved forward, risen above a lot of things, but still trying to connect with things that we've risen above. And it just gets irritating and frustrating every time you go back, every time you eat this, every time you listen to it, uh, watch it. It's something like that, okay? Somebody also out here is trying to um, sound smart in front of you. Somebody wants to impress you and they want to sound smart in front of you, but you're smarter than whoever this is. You haven't told this person that, that you're smarter than them because what, what good does that do? You would never do something like that. But whoever this is, you know you're smarter than this person, okay? Uh, so it's kind of embarrassing for this person because you know more than them and you just let them keep talking or doing whatever the fuck it is that they do. You know what I mean? You're like, whatever, you know? It's something like a, but you won't be able to do that long. So let's say that's that's how you are. Like, man, whatever. I already know they stupid. You know what I mean? I know what I'm talking about, right? There's only going to be so much uh, you can tolerate as far as being around this stupid ass person that keep thinking you stupid and they stupid. You're not going to be able to sit around that shit long. That's why I was saying about the irritation and frustration. You know, you can have a high tolerance for something, but not for long, G. I'm telling you now, in the next seven days. Your patience or your tolerance is going to be very short for something. But whatever it is, is uh, beneath you. For some of y'all, I feel like it's a, it's a woman or some women. I don't, they're trying to appeal to you. Some about a woman or some women trying to appeal to you, but they all do the same thing. They all say the same thing. They all do the same thing. You know, all of them try to appear to be smart. All of them, you know, uh, are, are claim to fuck your brains out the bed. It's something where like uh, women want to stand out from another woman or something or from somebody, let's say it like that, probably divine feminine, but they're all actually doing the same thing. These women may not know they're all doing the same thing because these women are not all grouped up. So let's say you're uh, dating multiple women. Let's say you're single and you date multiple women and all of them want you to settle down. The reason you won't settle down with any of them because all the bitches act the same. None of them broads know each other, but all the bitches act the same. Now that could just be what you attracted to. That could be what it is you attract, but you still ain't about to uh, be with none of them. You're not about to take none of them serious. They just don't know why. So they try harder and harder and harder to try to sound smarter, better, look better, this and that. And it has nothing to do with that shit. You're going to, um, Divine Master, you're going to um, find that a bunch of women are going to try to mac your ass up. And not like regular macking, like with their titties and stuff out. But they may be trying to sound smart. They may try to appear spiritual, like bosses, uh, some shit like that. You're going to see all through these hoes, G. You're going to see all through these hoes, G. They want that dick that bad, G. They just don't want to, you know, admit that that's what they want. But they want that dick, G. They want the, he want to give me the vitamin D. Yeah, that type of shit. Yeah. Ugh. Whoever I'm picking up on is thirsty as fuck, G. For real. Yeah, something about a small-minded woman or man. Somebody out here, uh, whatever this is, the right basket, I don't feel like you're... This could be some, I don't know, something, somebody or someone or whatever is attracted to you, G. Okay? I don't feel like you're uh, attracted to whoever this is. This could be somebody from your past. Maybe you're not attracted to them anymore like you were. But it's something about the way they think, G. But I feel like it's this person that thinks that they're teaching you something and they ain't teaching you shit. I feel like you just let somebody ramble and talk. You know, sometimes you'll just let motherfuckers just think, like, you got it. You know, that type of energy. Like, oh, you got it. But they really don't have it, G. But then it goes to their head thinking they really got it and not realizing, like, you let them have it. You know what I mean? Like, this type of shit. It's something like that going on here. 
some of y'all are gonna realize that somebody's just a waste of your time. You literally just have sex with them. Like, it's a waste of your, I mean, you may like to have sex, but it makes me feel like you feel like this person is a waste of your time. I feel like you're looking for something deeper. Not necessarily, I mean, it could be a relationship, yes, but it feels like, uh, Yeah, you're looking for something deeper. I wanted to say uh, people aren't meeting your expectations, but expectations bring disappointment. So I didn't really want to say that. But it, it's kind of that type of energy. But I feel like it's more so, um, you know how like you'll meet somebody and you're like, oh, wow, they, they seem, right, really smart, really put together, really this, really that. And then when you get to know them, you realize that shit was just a front. You know what I mean? They were just like that long enough to, to get you or get your attraction uh, again some type of attention or uh get your get you attracted to them or something like that like somebody can't hold something divine masculine yes that's what i've been trying to say somebody can't hold on to something somebody may be trying to hold on to you but it's damn near impossible because you're elevating you're ascending so whoever whatever this is i feel like they may try to uh meet you on your level as far as intelligence is concerned but you know that's what they're doing because they're stupid you know what i mean it's like this type of shit mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's move on. Give me some messages here for Divine Masculine, how he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in in the next seven days. I almost said stupid days. So I don't know. Maybe the past few days been kind of stupid or the next few days going to be kind of stupid. Give me some messages here for him. Yeah, this is the empire falling. That shit flew out. That's like an empire falling down is what that card is. So somebody is thinking about your empire falling down. It's like somebody uh, who despises you, G, pretty much. I don't know who this woman is to you, okay? Baby's mama, it could be a current wife, ex-wife, ex-girl, a family member, some woman that you don't want to stick your wee-wee in that's bad, like some shit like that. Somebody thinks about like... Your demise every day, G. Every fucking day, G. You disappointed this person, whoever this is, and that's they just can't help but think badass thoughts about your ass. Pretty much. Okay? Somebody may be trying to get you to slip up and say something, slip up and do something. Okay? <clears throat> be aware. Yeah, watch uh, Divine Masculine. There may be something that you may not be paying attention to because you're focused on something else. But there's something else going around that you may be uh, going on around you that you may be missing. But it's because you're super hyper focused on something else, which I feel like is work and career is what you're hyper focused on. But there's some other shit going on. OK, so other shit may be uh, falling or somebody's trying to make some other shit fall while you're focused on something else. So it's like you can't be in uh, two places at once. The place that you can't be in because you're in another place. Somebody trying to fuck that one up. Like, well, he's not here. He at the other place. So fuck it. This type of shit. Damn. Somebody cold. Uh, 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 uh. Bloody. They are. Woo. Mm-hmm. Somebody's trying to get you to destroy something of yours. Or fuck something up. That uh, either it took a long time to build, <clears throat> you're trying to go towards this, or this is like something that can change your life. Somebody's trying to get you to fuck that up in the next seven days. Give me another one here. Tripping. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's the empire falling and then tripping. So somebody can't believe something. They can't believe it's not bother. Okay. Somebody uh, may not believe there ain't no fucking money left. Like, what do you mean there's no bother? Like, what? Okay, somebody's name could be Fabio. Somebody could have long hair. Somebody could have an accent, okay? But this is somebody like empires falling and somebody tripping out about that shit. So somebody who was on top is falling, okay? And they're like, what the fuck? I don't know if this is your shit. This could be like your business was doing well and all of a sudden it's just going down, a relationship or somebody's. Okay, and somebody's tripping like what the fuck is going on somebody divine masculine I've noticed in my own life G Whenever something starts going down falling down money's down this and that it's some somebody that I've allowed into my energy or my life Nine times out of ten. Okay, so if you feel like something's been blocked or you feel stagnant or something check your surroundings That's why I said there's something you need to check around you and shit because you're hyper focused on something else So I put it to you this way Something you may be hyper-focused on fixing, you may not uh, be paying attention to what's destroying this shit, okay? 
So this is like, why does my empire keep falling? Oh my God, let's say this man's running around the empire trying to fix every little crack, every little thing. And then when he finishes, he's like, damn, there's another one. And this man never goes to find out what's causing the cracks, what's causing the empire to fall. He just keeps repairing it, okay? Somebody cannot figure out why something keeps falling apart. It's because of something or someone that you're around. I told you we ain't gonna be able to tolerate shit, G. <clears throat> Long. And it's making me feel like the reason you won't be able to tolerate something long is because other things are starting to get affected. So it's like sitting up in a bad relationship. And it's like, uh, you know, I just ignore them. I don't really, I'm not home when they home and I leave when they come home and all this other shit, right? But it's making your empire fall because ain't nobody supposed to be living like that. Ain't nobody supposed to be dodging people and all this other shit. And you know, all this, it's like uh, something you're doing is what's uh, causing your empire to fall or somebody you're around. Or something you're allowing in your life or keeping in your life. I need it in my life. It could be an addiction. Okay? I want it in my life. Something about juvenile. Come put it in my life. I'm going to keep it in my life. Yeah, I don't know. This may be something you may be trying to keep together. And it's just not. It's over, G. Okay? Or somebody is. Somebody could be trying to hold on to you, which is what I said earlier. And it's just not happening, G. Somebody may start tripping. Because they're realizing like something's not working. So somebody could have been trying to manipulate you. And maybe they did. It was some type of well, however way they did it. Okay? And it was working for a while. Now when they try to do it, it's not really working. You know? And somebody's about to start tripping out. So shit, that pussy used to keep you there. Now you're like, oh, I don't really want that pussy, Tatiana. And she gonna start tripping. It's like, what? Like, he always wants this pussy. What's going on? Like, you know? It's something like that, G. Somebody, uh... Somebody's going to um, react to you choosing yourself, Divine Masculine, in a negative way in the next seven days. Or they've already been doing this shit. Okay? Damn. Your empire may be tied to someone else's. It's, she's tripping over a cord. That lets, me know, that lets me know that something's like connected or tied together. Okay? So it's almost like, shit, if they empire fall, my empire fall. You know, this type of shit. But something's still falling anyway. So it's like people who stay together for money. You know what I mean? Or the wrong reasons. It's like I can't leave none because shit, my money tied up. This, this, that. You know what I mean? If I leave, then this and that. Something gonna happen where it don't matter. Your money gonna start fucking up in this shit. Whether you, whether you stay with, you know? So I don't feel like it's gonna fuck up either. Well, man, I can't even lie to you. Be like, no, nah, it ain't gonna fuck up if you leave. It just might. I feel like whatever you think is going to happen if you leave something or disconnect from something, it is going to happen. But what you don't know is that it's also going to happen if you stay. So one you'll have control over and one you will not. He look like he don't have control over shit, okay? So just know that. So it's like I can leave on my own terms and yeah, I may have to pay a price to leave or I can stay and pay the ultimate price for staying. It's like this, okay? Be aware in the next seven days. Some of y'all may be cutting some family members off because they're causing the empire to fall, okay? It's like you, you're you making us look bad type shit, Okay? Somebody damn sure take a tumble, G. Somebody out here clumsy. Uh, this like tripping and oh, you got me tripping, oh, stumbling, something like that. What's what's who's that? Fergie. Yeah, clumsy cause I'm falling in love. So I don't know. Somebody's name could be Duchess or someone is a Duchess or somebody lives in Ferguson. Ain't that Missouri? Shout out to y'all. Just Missouri, period, right? But that's what I heard. Clumsy cause I'm falling in love. So shit, some, somebody's empire could be falling because somebody is falling in love. Let's see what this third card is. We'll know for sure. Where is somebody? What's falling? What's up? This is cleaning up dirt that's not there. This is like my OCD card. Like there's nothing really to clean up. There's nothing dirty there, but it's like someone insists on doing it. It's like to stay busy. So this somebody don't even know why they fuck with you, Divine Masculine, and not in that way. Like I don't even know why I fuck with you. No. I mean, as far as somebody who's like... uh has other things they could be doing besides fucking up your shit or fucking with you, mad at you, wishing bad on you. Like somebody could be doing other things with their life and their time, but somebody can't help it. For real. It's like somebody, if somebody may send you a message, you're like, what the fuck? What did I do? What did, you know, it's like this type of shit. Somebody can't help it. It's like they, I don't know, if, I don't want to say they pick on you, but someone's a nag. That's what this feels like, like a fucking nag and shit or someone that always has some shit to fucking say. But this is the person that think they smarter than you, okay? Or they like to hear, somebody out here likes to hear themselves talk, 
uh, is what this is, divine masculine, and whoever this is, you you allow this person to just talk. But because you allow this person to do this, they think that you're really uh, doing that because you don't know. You know what I mean? Because you're letting them take the will because they're the smartest and they're this. No, you just do it because you don't feel like arguing with a motherfucker or going back and forth. Bitch, you got it? That's what I heard. Bitch, you got it. Fine, bitch. Yeah. That's not good enough for somebody. <laughs> for real. This is like you're just giving up on something. Like, well, fine. Keep the house. Keep the keep the whatever the fuck. Then I'm out. Yeah, somebody get pissed off, G. It's like, uh, and they could have been asking for that. Somebody could be threatening you with something that they'll take something from you and you may say, well, then fucking take it there. Oh, well, then take that shit there. This person trip out, okay? They're like, you weren't supposed to say that. You were supposed to get intimidated, scared, and be like, no, don't take that. Yeah, no, you're not going to say that or you haven't said that and somebody tripping out. Now they want to destroy your empire, whoever this is, G. Like, they're fixated on that shit, okay? Somebody out here is uh, bitter and mean, <laughs> okay? For real. In the next seven. Damn. <sighs> you're, you're, whoever this is, you know who I'm talking about. You've experienced this, uh, either this person doing this shit to other people and now they're doing it to you or they've always done this shit to you. But it's starting to affect something. This could be your health. Like, I don't know why my health is declining and shit. It's because somebody around you is always tripping on your ass, set tripping, uh, some shit, Okay. It's like as soon as I sit down, the motherfucker be like, hey, can you do this? Hey, can you? It's like this type of shit. It's like ain't even really nothing to be done, none. Or it's nothing to complain about, nothing to say. Like nothing. And somebody still just want to fuck up your day, G. I don't know who this is to you, but somebody like got a hard on for fucking your shit up, G. Okay? Damn. Somebody's employees are about to turn against them. An employer has some employees that are going to turn against them, against the employer. It's like a, it could be a strike going on at your job, divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? You could be in a union or something like that, but there's something going on about workers' rights or something like that or some type of shit. Labor laws, they said. Yeah, this sounds like a strike or something like that. Your job could be going on. Yeah, somebody may be telling you to get out or you may be telling somebody to get out because it's the boot. Okay? And somebody, it's like almost like you kicked someone out or someone may kick you out. I don't know. And then they want to clean it up. Oh, come back home. Somebody here is like, didn't y'all have that before? I was like, somebody like real wishy-washy and shit, but it's only just to keep you around or keep you like from attaining something or going towards something and shit. And then they fuck your shit up. But this time, I'm, I'm still picking up the same energy, yes. But let's just say that worked. Let's say somebody did something they, and they made you stay. And you're like, fuck it, I'm just, fuck it, I'll, I'll kick it then. Right? Whoever said that and was like, well, then I'll just stay. Your empire about to fall down. That's not, the, that's not what God wanted for you. God is asking someone to separate themselves, to go towards whatever it is he has for them. But somebody is being convinced to stay. In a, they're being threatened. I won't even say convinced. This feels like a threat. It could be with child support, court, money. I don't, I don't know, living, housing, I don't know what it is. But somebody's being threatened out here. So somebody's like, well, then fuck it, I'll stay. I don't want no problems and shit. Somebody doesn't realize, like, now the problem is about to start. Gee. <laughs> the problem is about to start now. It's almost like uh, whatever's about to happen, Divine Masculine, to you or whatever this is in this situation, it's because somebody went against whatever God told them to do, okay? So somebody's like, if I stay, maybe my empire won't fall. Maybe she or he or whatever the fuck won't take me to court, won't do this, won't do that. But that's exactly what's happening, though, while you're there. It's like somebody doing the shit that they were going to do while you were going. They're going to do that shit while you're there now. Somebody has no respect out here for somebody at all, G. Especially if somebody feels like their threats are working and somebody, like, um, takes this as a credible threat. Like someone ex expresses some type of fear of something happening. Somebody, like, boom, gonna. You know, but that shit's going to happen anyway. So some woman threatening to take your kid and all this other shit is still going to do that shit is what they're telling me. You know, this is like a, the woman keeping the kid or turning the kid against you and shit while y'all living together. Well, no, me and Katie were going to the mall today. You're like, oh, okay, well, I had planned something with Katie. Well, we're going to the mall today. Like, okay. You know, like the lady keeping the kid away from you anyway or the, the little boy or some whatever the fuck away from you anyway. Something divine masculine is inevitable here. So you may have been trying to keep the peace with somebody. Man, there is no peace, G. There is no fucking peace. I'm telling you. I heard justice of the peace. 
So somebody could be getting married at a courthouse or somebody's getting divorced. No justice, no peace, they said. Mm -hmm. Put some on this empire falling. What is this? Why is this empire falling down? If we were all prostitutes, who would make the least amount of money? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, something's happening with business. Okay? I don't know if uh, you could work for yourself. And maybe business may not be doing well. You may have been giving out freebies. Because <clears throat> prostitutes charge for that. You know? So I don't know why this prostitute, not calling you a prostitute, but just the car, right? I don't know uh, why this prostitute would be making the least amount of money unless her shit bad. You know what I mean? Unless that shit worn out. Uh, something's getting old and tired, okay? That's what I'm saying about an empire falling. So somebody trying to steal. This is like somebody staying in the game too long, G. Pretty much. It's like a prostitute, like, like throwing that puss way too long and it's time for her to retire that shit. But she like, nah. Or somebody convincing her, if you leave Trixie, you ain't gonna make no money. Ain't nobody gonna love you. Ain't no, right? Let's say the pimp talking to Trixie like that. Bitch, if you leave, ain't nobody gonna give you this. Ain't nobody, I'm, I'm your daddy, right? This type of bullshit, right? She believe it. She like, well, then I guess I'll just stay with Big Daddy then because, you know, maybe ain't nobody going to love me or nothing, right? But don't nobody want that pussy either, uh, Trixie. It's like, so you're going to stay with Big Daddy and make no money because don't nobody want that pussy, right? And then you're worried about not getting any money if you leave Big Daddy because you're not selling pussy anymore. But you're not selling pussy with Big Daddy either. It's like this, like somebody is like in a lose-lose situation. Some, it's over, okay? <laughs> it's done, G. This could be something that um, you've outgrown Divine Masculine. This could be a career, a relationship, a friend, something like that. And as a result of sticking around in this shit, something's happening to your empire, G. You may be tripping out like, what? I'm telling you, like, what the fuck is going on? If it's not money that's being affected, it's energy, time, health. It's something like that that's being affected and you cannot figure out why. You're like, man, I'm on top of all my shit. It's like staying on top of your shit. Like, I've, I've taken care of everything. Crossed all my T's, dotted all my I's, none, and I still can't figure out what the fuck is going on. It's somebody or something that's uh, overstayed its welcome, or you have. You know? It's like outgrowing clothes and you still trying to keep them clothes on. And you're like, I don't understand why they keep ripping. It's like, well, you're a man now. <laughs> you're not a boy, you know? So you're going to grow up. Those clothes are going to rip. Yeah, and somebody insists they want to save money. I don't want to buy new clothes. I'm just going to keep wearing these. Okay, well, when the sleeves and all that shit look like you got on capri pants and shit because it was your pants from, like, the sixth grade, then shit, you know, that's just what it is. And then there's somebody wondering why the clothes falling apart. Well, you're outgrowing that. It's like this type of energy going on, Divine Masculine, okay? In the next seven days. And somebody keep trying to patch them up, sew the holes, the clothes, and all this other shit. But after a while, it's just, it's a mess, G. Just, you know? Like, you can't salvage something. Something can't be salvaged here. Yes, in the next seven days. But I feel like it's mostly because you're uh, ascending, Jay. You can't, you can't spiritually, your spirit can't tolerate something anymore. You know, when we're in karmic energy, we can tolerate a lot, sit around a lot of shit, watch shit, eat shit uh, that ain't no good for us, but we're in that energy. It's making me feel like you're not in that energy anymore, but you may still be in the environment or you're around people that are still engaging in this type of energy. And it's like, uh, so this is like you sitting around people doing some shit that you don't do. And it's like, well, shit, you know, they, they do it. I don't do it, right, says you. But your money being affected, you're like, what the fuck? I, ain't, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't, right, this, this, that, and the other. Yeah, well, then what you hanging around the people for if that's the case? You know, what's, what's keeping you tied or connected to whatever this is? If you're not in love with them anymore, if you're not connected to it, it has to be money. It has to be, G, or some children or something like that. But I feel like you're still suffering the same fate while you're in it. So it's like, I don't, you know, I'm not really, you know, me and the kids don't have that bond that I want us to have. My job ain't really doing this well. And I stayed here. And I stayed. Some of y'all maybe may have thought that you were doing the right thing by staying in something divine masculine. And I feel like it's the opposite, unfortunately. You know how like, um, this is almost like where tradition meets, you know how they say, um, Religion, religious people do what's right. Spiritual people do what they feel is right. This will be like making a uh, uh, decision out of a religious mind, if we're going to use that type of example. 
So it's like, well, they say, you know, it's bad to break up families and men stay with their wives and all this other shit. And it's like, oh, they do say that. Yes, they do. But shoot, God then what? Made a new covenant and all type of stuff in the Bible if we're going to talk about religion and all of that. So how can you really say that? God could have made a whole new covenant for you. You know, is what this is. And somebody's still in the old covenant. That's what this is, like old covenant energy, which is why... uh they say like he sent Jesus. Why God sent Jesus was to like kind of eradicate the, the uh, Ten Commandments. Not that they're eradicated, but it was too hard for people to keep up. Like people were so focused on not breaking the laws that people were actually breaking them. You know what I mean? Like they weren't focused on God. They were so kind of focused, hyper-focused, yes, on the law that they couldn't like um, bask in God is what they're saying and what he wanted them to do. So that's why he brought the Savior. Same thing here with you, you know? It's like you uh, are staying in something because of earthly law, but you're a spiritual being, G. So really, earthly laws don't even apply to you. That's why some empire is falling, because you're still trying to operate out of earthly law, okay? Which most people do, but you're not most people, my G. You're just not. Put some on this tripping uh, lady here. Or man, whoever it is. Somebody may twist their ankle or leg. That look kind of funny, don't it? She damn sure fall. Okay? Some of you guys are trying to clean up. This is the empire falling, and this is trying to clean it up. Okay? But there's nothing to clean up. This is like my nothing to clean up car. Nothing is, so this is like trying to repair a marriage or a relationship, and there's nothing to repair. There's nothing to fix. There's nothing. It's like this type of energy. So this could be something you've tried multiple times. If it's not a relationship, this is something you've tried to do multiple times, G. Okay, and it keeps falling or failing. I feel like that's your sign. Or you're not happy, or you keep getting the short end of the stick, or some shit like that. Put one on the uh, trip in here. What was that? Most likely to masturbate uh, in the bathroom at work. So yeah, so this damn show got something to do with money. For sure. Some of you guys, man, I'm telling you, Divine Masculine, some employees may quit, okay? Uh, masturbation is doing it yourself, okay? So some of you guys are self-employed, number one. Number two, if you work somewhere, maybe you're an employee uh, and you are walking out of the job or walking out of something with some other people and somebody's going to be forced to do something on their own. Yeah. That's why I said somebody may trip. This could be you walking out on somebody or somebody walking out on you. But somebody's going to trip that somebody does this shit. Like, so you're just going to leave me alone and do all the work? Not Forget the bathroom part, you know? But this is like what someone's saying. Like, you're just going to leave me alone to do all the work? Somebody is real. It's like ultimatums out here, Divine Masculine. You know? So it's like, if you don't do this, then I'm going to leave you and you have to do this by yourself says someone and someone says oh i don't want to have to do this by myself so i'll clean up my act i'll do this i'll stay but there's nothing that, this is like somebody being made to believe that they're a horrible person and they're not g but somebody makes them believe that and because someone believes they're a horrible person everything they try to do fails g because they believe they're a horrible person you see what i'm saying it's like somebody drilling some shit in your head telling you you're a bad something you're not good at something or whatever the fuck and then you try to do whatever this thing is or build on something and it doesn't work and you can't figure out why you may not think the two are tied together it's like somebody really believing they not shit in there you know what i mean i'm not capable of having doing but i feel like this is programmed this is it's like a program out here or something this is like not realizing you're in the matrix, G, but I feel like you do realize you're in the matrix because the empire, you have an empire which lets me know you're the emperor. So you do know that the, you are in the matrix, but I feel like you're, uh, you stay, you're, you overstay your welcome is what they keep saying. Yeah. It's like trying to wake up other people or get people to join in with Neo and shit to come along, but it's only Trinity and other Zionites, G. It's, that's not how the matrix work. So it's like you're trying to clean up the matrix and the matrix is a program. You know, it's like somebody saying, I'm going to save the whole world, like the whole world, like the whole world. Like, OK, you'll be there forever and you still ain't never going to be able to do that shit. That's what this energy is. There may be something that you keep working at that's not working, Divine Masculine, or somebody trying to do something to you or make you feel some type of way. And it's 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 not working, G. But I honestly feel like it's you uh, trying to do some shit that's not working. Whatever this is, you care about it. 
that's why you don't want to leave it or abandon it because you know like uh you're the you're the smart one so it's like a bunch of ma- matrix people telling you to uh get out of here get the fuck on you idiot you right just just hurling a bunch of insults at your ass and you know for a fact like man these people are plugged in like i am the one from zion i am the awakened one but everybody throwing tomatoes at your ass and telling you to get the fuck on you're crazy and all this other shit it's like you still sticking around <laughs> for real trying to wake these people up they don't want to she don't want to be saved don't save her yeah they don't want to be saved divine masculine okay and that's what i feel like you're trying to do is save or salvage something that does not want to be saved or salvaged you. or somebody is trying to do this for you and you don't want to save or salvage this shit it's over okay yeah somebody keeps trying to do something uh try they said try their head at something but it's fucking they shit up g Somebody doesn't realize it, though. So somebody doesn't realize that their job is causing a strain on their family. You know, like this type of uh, energy going on, but they're trying to save their job. You know what I mean? It's like that's why they're so hyper-focused on it. But it's like the empire is falling. You know what I mean? So then let's say that the person loses their family and now they can't even focus at work now because now they got personal issues going on. When work was the whole focus in the first place. It's like something suffers as a result of something else, but somebody doesn't know that or they don't think that's, it doesn't seem like it should be that way. It's like, well, if I focus on this, then this should work. Yeah, but what, should, what energy are you in, G? People forget about that part. You could put in a whole lot of work in something and energy be all off. That's why we make mistakes and do shit wrong. You know, you could be in a bad mood and be doing some shit or whatever, and then you realize, like, damn, I did that shit all wrong. I straight did it backwards. Yeah, because the energy, your mind ain't even in that shit. But you're functioning. You know, it's kind of like this type of thing. But shit's ending up wrong or it's not working out or it's it's put together wrong or some shit like that. I hope I'm making sense. Yeah. Yeah, some of you guys are damn sure self-employed or entrepreneurs, uh, divine masculine or divine feminine. But something going on with your money or your business. You may find divine masculine that you do work better alone. Most likely to masturbate in the bathroom, I mean, in the bathroom at work is kind of like working alone, G. Like, I could do this shit by myself in the pri- with my own privacy, you know, like the way that I do shit. You may find out that that works a little bit better, honestly. Some of y'all may not be... Making money or shit may not be happening because of your team, who you're around or who you have included in something. You know, somebody may not be uh, cut out for something that you're trying to do. I don't feel like whatever's going on is you. I feel like it's, it's something connected to you. And you may not be uh, understanding that shit. Because you may see whatever this is connected to you different. You may not see it as something that's making the empire fall down. But the fuck it is, G. The fuck it is. Okay. Put on this cleaning up shit here. Most likely to be turned on by watching their partner have sex with a stranger. Something about porn, okay, or uh, swingers, uh, some shit like that. But somebody cleaning this lifestyle up. So this is somebody that doesn't, okay. It's what, it goes back to what I said. So let's say Divine Masculine, you or somebody was unhappy in a relationship and somebody suggests, well, let's bring somebody else in. Let's, let's do a threesome. Let's do a little, you know what I mean? And spice up the, the, the room and shit. And somebody's like reluctant to do so. Somebody's like, I mean, I mean, I can. You know what I mean? Because I want to make this person happy. I don't want them to leave. Remember, somebody wants to save something. They want to salvage something. So somebody does it. And they invite somebody into the bedroom and all this other shit. Uh, they still feel alone. It's like it still doesn't fix whatever it is that somebody said that this would fix something. So this third party somebody brought in and this is spontaneous sexual whatever, it still doesn't change whatever the fuck is making the empire fall. You know, is what this is. And now somebody don't even want to do that. It's like somebody that uh, did something for someone, right? Thinking that it would help or fix something and is not doing it. So now somebody's like, well, I did that for no reason or I wasn't really comfortable doing that and it's not even helping. So I might as well... But somebody's going to keep doing it, though. <laughs> somebody's going to keep doing that shit, though. I don't know. It's like the definition of insanity. To keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. That's the definition of, of insanity. So somebody keep reconciling with somebody and like, well, maybe if I listen, maybe if I do this, maybe if I write, it'll work. But it hasn't worked yet, okay? That is the definition of insanity. It's like somebody keep going back to somebody thinking it'll work this time. No, it's going to be the same result. That's what this shit is in the next seven days, Okay. 
Somebody doesn't realize this though. Uh, oh yeah, that's what they told me. They said divine masculine, be aware of people rewording the same shit, okay? Trying to make the same shit sound different, okay? So a good example would be somebody says, oh, I went to the grocery store uh, last Sunday, right? And you're like, oh, okay. Next time you talk to them, they're going to say, I went to the market last week, okay? It's the same shit as the grocery store last Sunday. But instead they said, I went to the market last week. You feel me? Be aware of somebody trying to like flip something, but it's the same fucking thing, G. It's the same thing. Like when Smokey went to pay Big Worm and he kept flipping the money over, he like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. He was like, motherfucker, stop trying to play with me. That's $60, that's $80. Like he was flipping the shit over. It's something like that, G. Somebody trying to do this shit to you, okay? In the next seven days. Damn. Honestly, Devon Masculine, I feel like somebody out here don't have no respect for you. But I feel like the reason that they don't have respect for you is because you've been trying to keep the peace, G. You're a peacemaker. You know what I mean? You don't want to cause conflict. You try to keep things solid, you know, together. But somebody took that as a weakness. As you being a provider or a team player or accommodating or compromising, somebody took that as a weakness. Like, oh, okay. Almost like, yeah, motherfucker, I bet you will, right? And it's like you're doing it because you want to save the company, save the business, get your this together. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing it for the greater good of all, says Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Somebody taking that shit like you're a whole be a be a, okay? And I feel like you picked up on this shit a while ago as far as you know that that's what this person was thinking when you were accommodating or whatever the fuck and keeping the peace and all that. You know somebody thought that they had the upper hand over you. <clears throat> and you just let that shit ride. But I feel like you can't let that shit ride now because it's getting someone's getting disrespectful and it's affecting your empire. G. Somebody's, uh, you give them an inch, they take a foot, I heard. So it's like, yeah, okay, you know, they raised their voice the first time, and I didn't raise my voice at them, says Divine Masculine. But the second time y'all argue, this person start calling you all type of bitches and shit. And it's like, you're going to have to stop that, because pretty soon they're going to put their hands on you. And it's like something escalates here. You know, it's like, uh-uh. It's something about disrespect, G, okay? I don't believe in calling a man. I mean, I, I will, and not like uh in that way, like if I'm... uh. I don't feel like you should call a man a bitch, me personally, okay? And I know it can happen and we can be like, yeah, he's a bitch and all that. But I mean, face to face, like with a man and like say there's some type of conflict or something. It's like a woman calling you a bitch. Like you're a little bitch. Like, you know, I don't feel like a woman should ever say that. And I know women have said that to men, but it's kind of like cringe a little bit, you know? This is like somebody doing that shit to you and you letting them keep doing that shit, you know? So then they just get even more disrespectful. They start cheating on you and all this other shit. It's like this. And somebody like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, you know, try to keep the peace. It's the same shit. But somebody, it's not working, G. It's like, uh, give them the other cheek. But I'm talking about they done slapped that motherfucker up, G. They done slapped that shit up, G. Like, damn. Like, your shit got marks on the side. Okay? That's what this shit is in the next seven days. Or somebody. Okay? Somebody out here is totally being mentally and emotionally abused out here. Oh, wow, my G. Oh, wow. Who is this doing this? This can't be you. Because I don't believe divine anything uh, will be doing this shit. So this this is either happening to you, somebody you know. Uh, some shit. What is, who is this doing this? I don't got no type. Yeah. Bad bitches is the only thing that I like. Yeah, you ain't got no life. So somebody who don't have a life, they could look good. They're pleasing to the eye, whoever this is, divine masculine that does this shit. Okay, so they're not um, ugly. You know, so this is somebody I'm sure you done smashed uh, is what they're saying, basically. I make my own money, so I spend it how I like. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you, somebody that, that I don't know, they're giving me masculine energy, but it feels feminine, though. You know, like somebody who feels like they call the shots or they tell you what to do and all this other shit. And let my mama tell it, nigga, I ain't living right. Yeah, I don't know if this your mama or not, but they act like it, okay? Oh, wow. Whatever this is, is old. Uh, this That's like my old card. Outdated, how we just had the whole religion, uh, spiritual conversation, right? This would be like religion, you know? 
but this this represents something that it could be an older person it could be an old ass job it's something that's or it's something that's getting old i told you it's getting old okay you're doing this shit not you but i'm saying whatever this is this would be you saying this and i knew right now right you doing this shit is getting real old you know what I mean? It's because uh, something's not working. You're not seeing any results on your end. It's like somebody else being satisfied with the results and you're not. And it's like, I'm feeling like I'm just getting dogged out in this motherfucker, says Divine Masculine. It's true, G. You are. You are. You know, you ain't got to feel like it. You are, my G. Okay? Almost like shit, I've done everything that I'm, I'm being asked to do or I put in whatever the fuck I'm being asked to put in. And I feel like I'm not getting, I, I keep getting the same shit that I was getting before. And it's not what you want. Yes, yeah, because that's not where you're supposed to be, G. I started learning that shit because I realized uh, a lot of the times it ain't us, Divine Masculine. You're a really good person. I'm going to give it to you right now, right? You and Divine Feminine are really good people. And I feel like you know that shit because when you're in certain environments and around other good people, shit blooms, blossoms, and all type of shit. But when you're in other situations, shit does not. So you need to start looking at that shit. Is it you or is it the situation like, uh, well, they say process of elimination, my G. Yes, <clears throat> the process of elimination. There's something you haven't eliminated yet that you know needs to be eliminated. I feel like you know exactly what this is uh, or who or whatever the fuck this is that's making the empire fall or is making you fall or feel less than or some shit. You know exactly what this is because it's been doing it for a long time. This shit, oh, it's getting old, it's old, it's whatever the fuck. Okay. I'm asking who is this doing this shit to you? It could be somebody older than you, G. It could be your mama. Shit. He said, and let my mama tell it I ain't living right, okay? This could be somebody who goes out and parties all the time or is like real, like just out there, you know, like never home or never uh, whatever the fuck. This would be somebody, somebody may threaten you with money. I don't know if somebody makes more money or somebody takes care of something and you're like tied into this. So it's like having somebody by the balls almost and no disrespect, but that's what this feels like. Like, you ain't going no. Yeah, misery. <laughs> yeah, this like Kathy Bates and uh, James. Is it Han or Khan? I can't remember. Right? It's like them two. You know? It's like he was kind of codependent on her at the end. Until he bashed her skull in with that metal pig. That's why I said you ain't going to tolerate something for long. He was like, bitch, I'm going home, bitch. Okay? <laughs> I'm going home, ho. Yeah. But he did tolerate that shit as far as for a while. He did try to get out. So you could have been trying to get out of something uh, for a while. If we talk about the movie Misery, right? Because he tried to get out, but she had tucked him in the bed, broke his ankles and shit, kept him doped up. and Oh, shot the sheriff, but she didn't kill the deputy, right? All this other shit. And it's like, damn, I don't know how the fuck. It's, it's going to lead up to you having to fight whatever this is, Divine Masculine, one-on-one. Whatever this is, you're going to have to like stand up to it or face this. I feel like it's something you don't want to do or say or some action you don't want to take. But your empire is at stage, G. It is. And like I said, shit getting real old. You know what I mean? You tired of this shit. Put some on this. Uh, I ain't got no type. Somebody's name could be Ray. I done picked up on that name twice. Once in Divine Feminine shit and now in yours. Okay? Yeah, this is somebody that uh, sways you to their side. This person is very convincing. Or can convince you to do something or to, to stay stagnant, not do what, what it is you wanted to do, whoever this is. They can convince you, they can sway your uh, opinion or your mind or some shit like that. But honestly, I don't feel like they do. Like they, they do divine masculine, but you you agree to this consciously. So somebody out here thinks they're manipulating you, is what I'm saying. So somebody thinks they're abracadabra in your ass. You know what I mean? With like words or threats or some shit like that. And I don't feel like... Um, they are abracadabra in you. I feel like you know exactly what this person is doing. You just go with it. You know? Uh, so somebody threatening you, they think that you would really be scared of this threat. You know that they think that you're scared of this threat, but you're like, I ain't scared of this shit, but whatever. You got it. That's what I keep hearing. Man, whatever. You got it then. You know? But this can't ride, G. This can't ride, though. You know? Like, there's way too many hood passes for your home, girl, Divine Masculine. Whoever this is doing this shit to you, Okay? I'm saying they're doing this to you because I fucks with the real divine masculine. 
okay so even if it's uh more divine feminines in here listening then divine feminine this is really happening to a divine masculine this could be a divine masculine that's your brother your daddy some man you know it's it's a divine masculine this ain't uh no no karmic masculine or none of that shit okay this is a man getting used up okay a, a good man that's being used the fuck up and is getting old okay like he's tired of this shit it's been going on for years and shit okay Most like I told you, most likely to get married and not know their partner is gay. Could be, okay? This could be a same-sex couple, okay? Uh, somebody found out that somebody liked the same sex or some shit, right? When I'm asking who this is. But that card is, that gay word on this card usually means happy. Because gay means happy. But whoever this is, Divine Masculine, you could be married to this person. Or in some type of contract or, or a commitment or a work contract or something. Whatever this is, you're committed, you made a commitment to this. This is uh, whoever this is you made a commitment to. They don't even pay attention to your ass. This is somebody that don't realize when, you, when you're not happy, when you're sad. We had this conversation when I was like, uh, somebody don't even know when you sick, G, when you don't feel well. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you can tell in people's face or voice, like, man, they must not feel well. This is somebody who don't even know. They don't pay attention to you like that and shit, you know? But it's because you're, shit, you thug it out, my G. You thug it out. So somebody doesn't pay attention to your needs because you're accommodating to theirs is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So most likely to get married and not know their partner is, is gay uh, is what this is meaning. Well, I just told you what it means. But like um, they don't even know like uh, they don't even take you into consideration. Like, well, maybe he wants this. Maybe he needs this. Maybe he would like if I did this or some. Somebody don't even look at you in that way, G. But I feel like um, in their defense, you allow this person to treat you this way, which is what I picked up earlier. But it's getting old now. This could be somebody you just like to make happy all the time. Like a yes, dear, yes, dear, yes, honey. Like, you know, or yes, mama, whatever, whoever this is. Your boss, sure, I'll stay longer. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, this, it's like this type of shit. But it's getting old because it's almost like, well, you didn't get no extra money. The boss ain't never uh, gave you no promotion or some shit. Uh, the woman or whatever the fuck this is still out here cheating or talking to you crazy. And you still like, yes, dear, I'll be there. It's like this, it's like this, but I feel like, you know, you're paying attention to that something. You're paying attention that something's not getting better. Me, yes, daring and being accommodating and being a team player and this shit says you, right? I'm noticing I'm not getting anywhere. Somebody doesn't think you've picked up on that. Yes, that's the whole point here. Thank you. Somebody doesn't think you've picked up on I'm not getting anything out this shit by being cool or kind or staying in this shit like I thought I would. Whatever this is, you thought something, well, you would get something out of it by working on it. And it's not working, G, but I feel like it's because your higher self is telling you you don't belong there. Period. Period. Okay? Woo! <clears throat> Yeah, something is falling apart because somebody's just not happy in the shit. Like, everybody else could be happy, but you not. And I don't know if it's your empire. That's the worst. It's like, I'm the emperor of the empire and everybody else happy and living and eating and dancing and shit. And I'm stressed the fuck out over here, okay? Um, like, I just don't feel like myself. Says you. It could be something like that, too, where everybody else benefiting off your hard work. And you like, what the fuck? Like, they just treat me like I'm just a motherfucking bellboy and shit. Yeah. Okay, and then trip on you and talk to you all fucking crazy like get my bags peasant, right? You like this my motherfucking empire. This my motherfucking house. This like this type of shit like wow But you still pick up the bags and you take them It's something about you and it's not like you a punk or like no, you know what I mean bitch or nothing, right? It makes me feel like you're um, a gentleman or kind this could be I don't know G somebody taking uh, your kindness for weakness Okay, I'm telling you and you know this you know this. I'm not telling you, uh, like, we, the emperor ain't no fucking idiot, okay? So you know what someone's doing. But you felt like me doing this, right, says you, right? Me doing this may, may better the situation. It may make it better. You know, it may uh, diffuse something. It may uh, tamp out the conflict, says you, right? But it's only igniting all this shit. Yeah, because shit, God don't play about you. So how long you think he wants you to sit around with somebody over here demeaning you and talking to you and all crazy and it's been years? Whether it's a marriage, a job, a family member, a friend, how long you think he wants you to sit up in that shit and you get the short end of the stick, G? Come on. It don't make no sense. That's why I said it's, it's almost like religion going against spirituality. And I damn sure feel like God would pull someone out of a church if it was taking them away from him. And I know that sounds crazy, but let's just say somebody's so focused. Let's say somebody in the church so much, 
right? They so focused on the church that they do everything for the preacher and the pastor. Yeah, preacher, yeah, pastor, I got it. Yeah, priest, whatever, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. They so fixated on the preacher and the pastor and the priest, they forgot the whole purpose of church is God, right? So now this person that's like, just, you know, yes, preacher, yes, pastor, I'll get it, I'll do it, I'm your right-hand man. This person can't figure out why they're not getting blessed. And they're like, I'm in church all the, all the time. I help the preacher. I do this at church. I'm in the choir. I do this. I do that. And God's like, yeah, you do all that. And you ain't talked to me yet, G. You so focused on all this other. That's why I said, G, hyper focus. Something was getting old, <laughs> okay? God's like, I don't watch you run around this church serving this pastor. You ain't served me yet. You know what I mean? And I've been taking things away from you. And you still running after the pastor, says God, if this makes any sense. Somebody is thinking they're doing the right thing and they're not, G. I'm telling you. But it's because of like how it looks, you know what I mean? And, and, and I guess, I don't even know how you would, I mean, it's, it feels like tradition or society says type of thing, which is why someone does it. But you're called to do something else or do something different, you know, despite of what everybody else is doing, what everybody else thinks you should be doing, even what you think you should be doing. A lot of us thought we should be with someone specific or thought we were going to be working here. A lot of us, we make plans and God laughs, right? And he will destroy some shit too, Okay. Okay, like, no, that's not what I wanted for you, so I'm going to tear all that shit down. You ain't going to make no money here. You and this person ain't going to have no love, no this, no that, no whatever. And somebody's still trying to do it. And they tripping out, like, what the fuck? Like, maybe if I, they're telling me divine masculine. When, remember when I said process of elimination, meaning maybe if you um, just, just pay attention to who's around and what's around you and how your money fluctuate, your, your energy and all that shit. Some of y'all going to find that you, are, you do work better alone, G. Is what this says. You masturbating in the bathroom at work is you handling shit on your own and it feel pretty damn good. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's uh, nobody, I didn't need nobody's help or nothing. I knew exactly what to do, what the spot is and all that shit. Some of y'all may find yourself better off single, okay? Or just you work better alone, G, okay? This cleaning house. Yeah, you're about to um nip some shit in the bud, they said, but I don't like when they say that. I never like that saying either. Because if you nip something in the bud, it can grow right back. You got to get that shit in the fucking root, G. You got to nip some shit in the root, okay? So it never grows back. It's like you've been nipping some shit in the bud, and it kept growing back. And you're like, what the fuck? I keep cutting this shit down, and the same shit keeps happening. Yeah, because you ain't got to the root of something, is what they're saying, okay? We're about to go to Patreon. If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube to follow us on Patreon. If not, Divine Masculine, that's me you're reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my trip in Ontario. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear, your life like deck, your doll face deck at thegettonun.com. And I will talk to you later. I love you. Bye.